If your local trails look anything like this, you will be shocked when you hear just how much work goes into building and maintaining these trails for you to ride. Trail building is a long process, done fully by volunteers where I live, using the tools the volunteers themselves have purchased, or tools donated to the Trail Care Association. Often, the digging will start while you're still in bed. Here on the Jinka track, we start at 5am on a Friday morning. When starting a new section, we'll start by looking for major issues. You can see there that the drain hasn't worked too well and the water's built up down there. So we're going to make it a bit bigger. Today, because proper drainage had not been built previously, we had to clear an area off the trail to build a bigger drain. After clearing the grass, we used the e-digger, an invention of Madden Lockies, which churns up and loosens dirt. And as the sun rose, the other blokes were further up the trail, building a jump going into a rock garden. The rocks being used were kindly donated to the NTCA by the council. They placed the rocks down in a specific formation so there was little space between them and then they filled the cracks with dirt to hold them in place. They also chucked a log down followed by some big rocks to provide a solid landing which wouldn't wear much over time. Back over the other side we've dug out the bottom of the berm and moved the fresh dirt up to the top. This just makes the berm far bigger. And after the dirt's in place we'll shape it and then start packing it in to make it solid. We do this from the top, back and front to give it solid support. On the top, we make sure there's a decent thickness to make sure it doesn't crumble. After packing it in, we repeated the process to make it even bigger. We also dug a little trench for the water to flow down to keep it off the trail, and then put that dirt back onto the berm to make it even bigger. To help with the drainage as well, we sloped the track to make sure water would run down the hill so it wouldn't break the trail. Greg also built another drain to ensure no water would remain on the trail. The same process was repeated with a couple of other berms down the track and everything was packed in well to make sure it was solid and safe to ride. And this route marked the end of where we would work for today. So, with the help of eight volunteers in just under three hours, we'd successfully restored about 50 metres of trail. Doing the maths, that means for every two metres of trail you ride, a volunteer has probably spent about an hour building it for you. This is an insane amount of work, so I'd encourage you to help out wherever possible. Speaking of which, you can help us directly by taking a moment to listen to Greg. G'day guys, it's Greg here from North Brisbane Mountain Bike Club. We have the uh, Northside Trail Care Alliance, NTCA, who are out here uh, maintaining all the mountain bike trails. Um, at the moment, Mountain Bikes Director are giving away barrows of cash. So if you can uh, jump onto their website, follow their link, and uh, give North Brisbane Mountain Bike Club a vote would be muchly appreciated. And it's just an awesome way to support the trail building here. If you don't have enough time to come down and help, every vote counts. Thanks guys.